I'm Bob and this is V3's Go and Show. This week we're going to do Beijing for $100. $100! And that's priced out during high season which is April 1st through October 31st. So if you're going at any other time you're actually going to shave a few dollars off each of the sites that we're going to mention. Let's get started. We got $100 to work with. First place I'm going to go, center of Beijing, Tiananmen Square. How much is that going to cost you Bob? That's going to be free. Free! Yes, it is. <laughs> it is the largest square in the world. Uh, TravelChinaGuide.com gives a really great history lesson and um, just gives you general ideas of when the best time to go is, how to get there by subway, and it actually gives you a great guide for all the locations we're going to talk about, so definitely check them out um, for an overall view. Tiananmen Tower, now that's going to set you back $3. You can uh, see the whole broad spectrum. It's a really great place for taking pictures. There you go. While you're at Tiananmen Square, you might as well stop at the Mao Zedong Mausoleum. Yes. Now this is also a free attraction and there's a really great website, asiatravel.org, that does a good job of describing how Mao affected China, the history of China in relationship to Mao. So uh, you're going to want to definitely read up on that before you go into the temple just to know what to expect. But the mausoleum is free. Yes, there you go. Um, right behind Tiananmen Square is the Forbidden City, another really great uh, top tourist attraction in Beijing. And how much is that going to set you back, Bob? Oh, that's going to cost you a whopping $8. $8! It's in the middle of Beijing. The Forbidden City is surrounded on three sides by gardens and houses and it is now home to the Palace Museum. Which all very exciting to see and you might want to see it with an audio tour. Yeah. Audio tours are an additional $6 plus a $13 deposit that you get back when you return the audio equipment. You could also head over to the Eastern Axis, which is an additional $1.50 plus uh, 25 cents for disposable shoes, and apparently they're really disposable. <laughs> the Eastern Axis is just a quiet uh, section of the Forbidden City that is less visited. Uh, we calculated the $1.50 and the 25 cents for the shoes all into the total cost, so we're still going to come in at under $100. Yay! Um, okay, now getting a little bit outside of the, the main center of the city, there is the Olympic Stadium. You're going to go see the bird's nest, take lots of pictures, revision how it was to be there during the Olympics, and you can do it all for free. All right, so getting further outside of the center of Beijing, the next biggest attraction that we're going to say you should check out and that you probably want to check out is the Summer Palace. Yes, it's $10 during the high season. It's 726 acres. The Summer Palace is mainly made up of Longevity Hill and Cumming Lake. Uh, for more information on this, you're going to want to check out the official website, which is summerpalacechina.com. It's only nine miles from this, the center of Beijing so that you can easily get to it by public transportation. A little bit further outside of the city is uh, Temple of Heaven. Was built at the same time as the Forbidden City. No, the, the ordinary people just never went there, only for the emperor. So it was a really great site to see about that is uh, tour-beijing.com. And it talks about uh, all the things to do there. This was once a prayer and sacrifice temple uh, of the emperors of China. And it was off limits to normal people. Uh, but today, you can get in to see the, tour, the Temple of Heaven for only $5. Yeah, and during the morning you can see people doing Tai Chi and you're welcome to actually join in with them. A lot of the different attractions you can get to by subway or bus. And one guy, um, he's the bus tour king. He loves taking public buses in Beijing and he actually on his blog gives you different ways to take different buses to different sites. So you definitely want to check out his blog. Now we want to get a little bit outside of the city and we definitely want to see the Great Wall. It's the number one attraction for me going to Beijing. I don't know about you. Um, how much is that going to cost me? Well, it's going to cost you $6 to get on the wall. Uh, then that's at the Ba Da Ling. Uh, getting to the wall from Beijing is only going to set you back $5. That's nothing. $5 by bus. And the bus stop is 25 minutes away from the wall, but there is a gondola ride. A cable, a cable car. car for nine dollars each way. Uh, I would suggest maybe spending four fifty to go one way on that and walk back the other half so you can see different sets of scenery. Now at the Great Wall, you're really close to the Ming tombs. Yes, two of the twelve are open to the public. One is the largest in scale, and the other one is underground. They cost different prices, but. We added both of them into the price of our $100, so you should check out both of them. So that's, I think, the big main attractions that everyone thinks of when they think of China. But there's a lot of other stuff to do in China, and we're still way under $100, so we're going to keep going. Let's keep going. I think you should do a tea ceremony in China. Travelroads.com talks about he went to a tea sampling. He got to try five different flavors, and then he got to choose which ones he wanted to take back home with him. So that's a great way to find teas that you really like. And the tea sampling he mentioned was free. Free. 
Uh, the next thing is inside Beijing, uh, there is the Lama Temple. A Take Me Away Travel does a good job of describing what to see here. The main attraction is the largest carved Buddha out of a single piece of wood in the world. What? Uh, it took three years just to get the wood to Beijing from Tibet, and it's been there ever since. Yeah. It, entrance fee to the Lama Temple is $4, plus an additional $4 for an audio tour so you know what you're looking at. There you go. Another great site that we want to check out is Peking Man. It's about 31 miles outside of Beijing. To get into Peking Man, it's going to be $5. Uh, here is China.com talks about it. It's the oldest human relative. Fossils were found here. Well, one other thing we're going to talk about is tours. There's some really cheap tours that you can pack a lot in depending on how long you're going to be in Beijing. They can be as little as $30 and do uh, some of the main attractions like the wall and the Forbidden City. Mm -hmm. Viator does tour ratings, so you're going to want to check them out to see uh, if the tour to find out more about tours that are rated and what other users think. Also, if you feel like you just can't do the language gap, you need someone with you, Viators also offers a $25 private tour where you'll have a guide with you for eight hours throughout the day. You obviously have to pay for them to go in anywhere with you, but they're with you, they speak Chinese and English, and they'll be a great resource for you. This also doesn't include uh, transportation, so you'd have to cover the transportation costs for you and the guide, yeah. but it's $25 for eight hours. Yeah. Uh, another really great travel site is Beijing Bus Tours. What they do is they talk about a bunch of different short tours they have. They have half-day, day tours, where they pack a lot in, you see a lot of stuff, and you don't have to worry about transportation. And really, at the end of, at the, at the end of the day, it costs about the same to do one of these tours as it does to go on your own to these locations. Yeah. So it depends on what kind of experience you want to have. Right. All right, well, that brings us in right around $80 total to see all those sites, which gives us 20 extra dollars for food and transportation things like Peking Man uh, that vary depending on if you take a taxi or how you get there. Right. Uh, but that's under $100 seeing all the attractions in Beijing. That's crazy. So what are two things that we would say we want to do with our leftover money? Well, I'm going to visit BeijingBeyonce.com and see all about the drink specials and, how, and the best places to drink in, in Beijing. There you go. I'm probably going to get a foot massage. There are several sites on Nile Guide that are an hour-long foot massage for around $20, $25. Um, and after walking the Great Wall and walking around the city, I want someone to rub my feet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so that is Vagabond 3 this week. Come check us out in two weeks when we bring you some more. Bye.